Right, in this problem, we do problem uh, uh, 9.78, calculate Vs, the complex power, and the power factor of the source. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, find the current through this thing. We know that P equals VRMS, I RMS times the power factor, which is cosine theta V minus theta I. Uh, right off the bat, we can solve for IRMS since we know we have 25,000 watts over 240 volts times 0.88. This comes out to 118.4. Uh, so now now we have the magnitude of IRMS, now we just need the phase angle. Uh, we can get this by knowing that our power factor, 0.88, is equal to the cosine of theta v minus theta i. So we already know that theta v is 0 volts. So theta i is the inverse cosine of 0.88 it's actually the negative inverse cosine of 0.88 because it's uh, 0.88 equals the cosine of negative theta i and this comes out to negative 28 0.53, but the problem here is since the uh, since the power factor is leading. Okay, so with the power factor leading and lagging, we know that if we take the cosine of an angle, whether it's positive or negative, it will always come out positive because cosine is is an even function. Um, and since it's leading, that means it's going to be negative. So inverse cosine of 0.88 is actually negative 28.53. But since we have this negative sign out here, it's actually negative minus 28.53 um, degrees. And I personally like to work in rectangular coordinates. So the way that you do that is you just take the uh, magnitude times cosine of the angle for the real part and then magnitude times sine of the angle for the imaginary part and that's going to come out to 104.2 plus 56.2 J um, so now we have the current everywhere Um, so now we can find the voltage uh, across these resistors. We do that by saying voltage across the resistor is 0.1 plus 0.2J times this current. And that's going to come out to negative 0.79 plus 26.52J. So now our V source is the voltage across the resistors plus VRMS. So Vs equals Vr 
plus 240. This is a single zero. That's all we have, just that magnitude. And that comes out to 239.2 plus 26.52J. Um, so now we, that's one of our, one of the things we needed was Vs. Um, now we're going to calculate the complex power. So cal complex power is S. That's equal to V times I conjugate. So we have our voltage. And I conjugate is our current here with the minus sign to make it conjugate. So 104.2 minus 56.2J. Um, and this is going to come out to a big number. That's our second answer. And uh, now we're gonna now we need to find the power factor. So um, we already know our angle for current. So we're we're gonna find that by recognizing that power factor equals cosine theta v minus theta i. Uh, we already know theta i is 28.53. Um, theta v comes out to 6.33. We can get theta v by uh, taking our vs and then taking the inverse tangent of the imaginary part divided by the real part. Uh, just make sure you have your modes correct or whatever whatever angles you want to use. Here we're using angles. So that's cosine of 6.33 minus 28.53. That's going to come out to about point nine two seven and this is leading now remember we, we call it leading because the subtraction in here is a negative number but again since cosine of a negative number will give you the same result as cosine of a positive number of the same magnitude we have to say whether it's uh, leading or lagging. So if it's a negative angle, we call it leading. If it's positive, we call it lagging.